Today we're going to tie a fairly easy uh, but uh, <laughs> but very efficient fly. This is the uh, this is the uh, well it's called the Christmas tree, or at least one version of this fly is another version of this in in a completely. Um, Pink is called the flame. What we're gonna do use today is we're gonna use some fleshabu minnow buddy and some marabou feathers, and that's basically uh, all the stuff we're gonna use. We're gonna use some nunlet wire as well. First of all, I'm gonna take some of this uh, to make sure that this fly has uh, has some proper weight. I'm just gonna, you know, turn this up along with the hook shank here to make sure that it stays where I want it to be, like so. And then we're gonna make a tail using marabou. Just gonna make a bit of thread here to have something uh, to be sure that my marabou feather has uh, uh, has something to uh, to attach itself to. And um, what we could use for this fly is what would be great to use was the oh uh, yeah, here they are my Mark Petitian and uh, metric tools. These tools are very awesome. If you don't know them, you definitely, definitely should, <laughs> because they are awesome. What they they, they do is this is one part of, of of this. You take your marabou feather and then you place it inside here, like this, because then you have all your marabou is, is securely is securely uh, securely fastened here. You cut off the ends. This is going to be well, a bit of a waste because I normally don't use as much material here. And then you take the other part of this, the other clamp here, just going to attach this onto here, let go. And then you can cut off the entire feather and have every piece of marabou fiber attached safely in here. And if you really want to take this uh, there you could you could use the and uh, that of course is completely gone for me, but the Mark Petitjang makes a, a hair stacker as well that makes this uh, this very very easy to to gather these uh, marabou fibers up here. Then you take them out, and you have your tail ready for your use. So I take my marabou feather that I've bundled up here, nice and nice and. Uh, and ready. I tie these in. This is almost like a well, a very very cool, <laughs> a fleshy woolly bugger. So that's part of my tail now. And I'm just gonna tie this a bit further up because we need to have some bulk on uh, on this body here. So I'm just gonna make some loose turns all the way up here. Not all the way, completely all the way up to the eye, but uh, close. Like this. Be sure that you don't have too much material out here just in front here. So as you can see now, I have a fairly bulky, fairly bulky body now, and I have my tail of marabou feathers. Then I'm gonna take my my um, my flashaboo mini body, minnow body. And I'm gonna take. Uh, this is the gold color. It comes in a lot of different colors, the gold, the silver, and, and stuff like that. And, and most of these colors are, are very, very cool. This is the size medium uh, tubing. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take my dubbing needle here, and I'm going to just take out this mylar tubing. But as you saw, this this tubing, but as you saw, there was this, uh, inside the, the tube here, there was this material that I pulled out. And uh, then you can you can undo or untie the material here, like so. And uh, we need this because in a second I will show you what we're going to do. We're going to take this, make it a bit longer, like that. And we're going to take this while making sure that everything is where we want it to be. I'm going to tie this down here, fastening it like so. And then we have the marabou hackle, the marabou feathers, and with those mixed in with those, you will have the fibers from the 
minnow body tubing. Like that. Then I'm gonna make a whip finish. Like so. And just to be sure this fly is gonna last to uh, to some, some fish, I'm gonna add a bit of, of, of super glue. Um, my number one reason I've used this a lot, especially in, in pink on the Danish coastline for sea trout, and uh, one of my main concerns was that this fly actually, uh, the, the main problem with this fly was that it was actually uh, bitten to pieces <laughs> too fast. Um, uh, and what I mean by that was this this tubing here, when, when a, 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 a just a decent sized trout's teeth get in contact with these. These can be can be ripped into shreds, and uh, and these shreds can uh, well can can quickly make the fly look uh, not at all what you want it to. And as you can see, the next s s stage of the fly is to take your thread up here and kind of like make a, <laughs> what, what do you call those? Then you have a I don't know if it's a flesh bang or something like that. You know this the stuff you get for New Year's where you pull in each end and then it goes pop. Oh, very funny. Uh, but uh, it's it's almost like that or a caramel, something like that. I'm gonna cut off the tubing here, around there. I'm gonna take some mylar, or uh, some uh, some uh, some marabou feather, mar marabou feather again. I'm gonna do this the ordinary way. The other stuff wasn't very, very, uh, very much more efficient when I d didn't have the uh, the hair stacker for it. So I'm sorry for that poor, poor demonstration of that awesome tool. <laughs> uh, my demonstration did not at all give it the credit it, it really needed. Um, these are a bit too long for my taste, so I'm just gonna pull them in the length I need. Something like that. This is kind of like if you know the pattern that's called cat's whisker. It's kind of like that. Tie this down here. Don't you all hate when the thread is br just breaks for no apparent reason? That normally don't happen with this Vivus thread. I don't know what just happened like this. Cut off the rest of the thread here. And I'm gonna take my uh, my dubbing needle and I'm gonna again make sure that all of this comes out. It's untangled. The uh, the woven the woven fibers here becomes unwoven. Like this. I'm gonna turn all of this over. Turn all of this around here. Then you get a flash hackle on this nice fly, and uh, well, believe me, this fly will work wonders out in the water. Um, uh, it's it's important, I find, that when you fish this fly, you need to do it at max maximum speed, um, at least for sea trout. I don't know for rainbow trout, but for brown trout, I think it would be the same. This can look very much like a like a small. Uh, like a like a small fish, but you need to to give it a lot of uh, a lot of speed, and uh, then the fish will come from from a mile around and and grab it. It's a, it's a very nice fly, uh, and it it works very well in in other other colors as well.
Oh, just a bit of just a bit of varnish here, and we're done.